Queens, what's the TV network y'all gonna be watching? Pink TV Network. The, the, the one and only Super Bowl number one champion of the world, y'all. Y'all know he's dead. We're going to be doing some things together on 15 the network, y'all. God bless. I'm Wolf Colson. We're working together today. I've trained 1206. Is there a problem? I just don't like working at a damn daycare center. I don't like working at a retirement home, so. All right. This ain't training. In training, they just give you an F. Out here, you get killed. Married? Sort of. It's a long story. How about you? You married? Got two beautiful daughters. Ooh. Have fun. What do we do when we get to a railroad crossing? We have an unmanned train rolling into a highly populated area with no air brakes? Yeah. Over six, over six. What's up? There's an unmanned train on the northbound track. It's under power? It's coming straight at us. What are we worried about in terms of cargo? Eight freight cars of hazardous chemicals. We're not just talking about a train. We're talking about a missile the size of the Chrysler building. I need to know where that train is. We're not exactly sure. You're not sure? We'll find out. Watch out! It gets worse. I've got 150 students coming in on some field trip on track 16. Train that size going that fast vaporize anything in front of it. We have been told to anticipate an event radius 20 to 45 miles. The only way to stop that kind of power, grab it by the tail, gun in the opposite direction. Are you in or you out? You want to kill yourself, you do it alone. All right, all right, you do what you want. Wait, I'm not risking this company just because some engineer wants to play hero. Not for you. Not doing it for you. People think they know my story, but this is our story. I see a second coach. You on the team here? Nah, but I could be if you're lucky. Me and my boys, we were balling with each other since we was like 10. Call ourselves the Fab Four. Let's go there! Get up! Hey! You can win you a state championship, guaranteed. All my life, grinding all my life. Price. When we were young, I was just trying to find good kids. They all kind of balanced each other out. Willie, both his parents, addicts. His big brother took him in, saved his little brother's life. Shion, we just want Shion to work off a little bit of his baby fat. Drew was born with basketball in his blood. I picked LeBron because he has skills and he was a good kid. His mom just wants a spot where he can be safe and not get in any trouble. Come on, pose, Denzel. We value all the talent you boys are going to bring to this school. Oh, my goodness. Look at y'all. Hey, now tell me, which one of y'all supposed to be Carlton? <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. You? <laughs> all my life, grinding all my life. They're not very good. Now let's try this. Yes. You're in the game. Let's go. Muscle price, one slice. We may be seeing the beginnings of something special here in Africa. Watch out. You watch out. Maybe you see some new faces. This is Mr. Travis. Travis Slam. They're so damn good and they know it. In business. Just make sure that doesn't tear them apart. What's it like coaching the best high school player in the country? Play some defense. Sorry, can't all be the toes in one. What you said to me? How successful you become depends on how well you manage pressure. Hey everybody, Pick TV Network here. We're here with the managers of Pick TV Network. And guess what, folks? This is why people love the Pick TV Network because we have something for everyone that includes you. You know, our programs uh, have inspiration, information, education, and entertainment. You saw some movies right there and some movie clips. I want to thank all of the great people who are out there doing great things, especially on the Pick TV Network. In this segment, we have uh, a brand new channel is called the Shopping Spree Channel, where you can sell your books, your products 
on our brand new shopping uh, spree channel. I'm going to bring in our Pick TV Network special managers, folks, who are investors, who are supporters, a part of our team going on three years, folks. We have the award winning Michelle Cox. We have Mel East, Colorado. And we have the Lady of Wisdom. You know, um, before we get into our, our, book, our, our segment today, uh, you guys. Uh, know a special person who I had an interview with, and I know uh, you guys have something to say about um, his uh, sports gift to the world. You know, and when I met him, uh, I was just uh, just so 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 happy to uh, meet uh, the Super Bowl quarterback, uh, the, the, the one and only Super Bowl number one champion of the world, y'all. Y'all know he's there. We're going to be doing some things together on Pick TV Network, y'all. Doug Williams. Doug Williams. So we're going to send him this video clip. And now, now I know him from Washington, D.C., playing on uh, the number one the quarterback at the Super Bowl, the African-American quarterback who won for us. But Lady of Wisdom and uh, Michelle Cox going to take us a little deeper because they can go back down to the South. C come on, uh, come on, Michelle and, and Lady of Wisdom. Talk a little bit about the. Well, Lady of Wisdom and I both attended Jackson State University. I was a freshman when Walter Payton was in his senior year. We were going to our homecoming, and we were playing Grandma. And they tore us up. Oh, my God, they got us so bad. But Doug Williams went on to be the number one NFL record-breaking Super Bowl winning champion from mm -hmm. Grambling and from mm -hmm. the swag. And baby, if I ain't swag, who is swag? So no. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Carolyn, tell them Jackson, we, we put up a fight, but Doug broke our hearts that day. Air McNair, Doug Williams. Doug is just um, mm, you know, the funny thing about it, though this that was our rival. He was so good that you were hurt that we lost, but you were excited to be in the house to be a witness to the phenomenon of his talent. And so as a result of that, you know, I have always prayed, watched, adored this quarterback from Mississippi, travel to the Super Bowl, win the Super Bowl, the first Afro-American Super Bowl quarterback winner, and all you can do to his personality, you know, I knew him not personally up close, but I have the part of being in the radio business, of course, I had opportunities to be around him. And so as a result of that, you learn people's personality, how they treat people, how they interact. And he has always been a homeboy. He has always been free and open to share and to talk with people, mentor young people. So I'm just, hey, when you say Doug, he's part of the family too. <laughs> Oh, think absolutely. He's part of the family. Think of Walter. He's part of the family in a lot of different ways. Uh, we were talking about before we got on all of these wonderful players from Mississippi uh, that went through Jackson State University. Uh, kudos to JSU, who were able to go on and do great things in the NFL, more importantly, in the communities at large. Well, not only that, I mean, he shattered every every NFL record on one Sunday. <laughs> Everyone. People, it, it, the thing about it is they never really gave him his kudos. Mm -hmm. He had an unfortunate uh, incident afterwards where he uh, he broke his jaw on a motorcycle, and they didn't re-sign him for that, mm -hmm. which was a shame because we don't know how far he would have gone as a quarterback. And I think he would have beat Brady, if you ask me. That's that's how much and how great he was. And that was his first time going as I think it was a second year quarterback. That's phenomenal. And this yeah. is smash mouth football. This isn't that football we have today where, you know, oh, don't touch the quarterback. No, this guy came and he showed out. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when, I, when I look at you and, and we're going to break uh, and switch it up in a minute. Doug Williams, we're going to send this to him. We're going to find a way to get this to uh, to Doug Williams to uh, 
show him how much you guys love him. You know, and he gonna he gonna laugh. I know he's gonna laugh at this, Michelle Cox. I know he's gonna laugh at this. You know, go because you guys go back. You know, just to see him. But when I met him, we, he was so humble. He was just like taking pictures. He gave thumbs up with me. You know, it was a little longer than we play here with this segment. He was just a nice person, you know, and just to see him talk. Uh, the, the, the one and only Super Bowl <laughs> number one champion of the world, y'all. Y'all know he's dead. We're going to be doing some things together on Pictures and Network, y'all. Doug Green. You know, to see him talking and being nice like that to me, you know, I met him. We were at the MGM coming down the elevator, asking us just give me some words of love. And he did that, you know. Um, what is this special Southern love hospitality that you guys have, um, Lady of Wisdom, man? I don't know what, we, up here in D.C., it's, it's politics and high of God, man. Right, it, it's here. called that down-home Mississippi parenting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the essence of it. Treat people how they want to be treated. Honor and respect others and recognize that, you know what, that God-given gift that is in each of us is available and should be used. And remember always, who, whatever you do and wherever you go in life, remember those people who paved the way, their sacrifices. And that's what brings, I believe, the humility to most of us in Mississippi. We talk, you know, you can't talk about Grace and leave out Walter Payton. Come on, I can't let you do that. We talk about Walter, we talk about Brazil, we talk about, and you know, I even think about my homegirl. I was born and raised in Forest, Mississippi, and Rashad Anderson. Rashad went on to the NFL, did great things. So you're just talking about a multiplicity of talented folks. Uh, Ricky Young, Robert Brazil in 75, I had to look it up. Walter, of course, in 75. And, and then you start looking at Jackie Slater, what Jackie did. Come on, there is talent galore. And, and I thank God, and I have to say this about Prime, he's gone. He's no longer at Jackson State University. But what Prime did coming to Jackson State University, enlightening the SWAC and making SWAC a part of the conversation related to the NFL was magnificent. And it helped all schools and universities in our arena. And I can just say, we've been blessed. We've been blessed. And these are men who did not take their talent, run away from us, and not want to deliver something back. And as Prime said, he might not have been swag, but he came and made swag back, brought swag back. So we thank God for that as well. And don't forget about our homeboy, Mike, Mike Jones, baby, Mike Jones. Well, you were talking about Mike, you know, Mike, Mike Jones. Now they were older than me, but I remember them. I had, what can I say? I lived in an apartment complex, what was then a, a little track that separated the university. Okay, we could literally walk across the street and we were on campus. All that has changed now. I'm dating and aging myself. But I can remember Walter, Brazil, and it was another one. I can't think of his name. I've been trying to find his name on here to remind me. They would come and eat at my apartment. That's why I, I, I know them. Uh, Jones, Mike, I didn't know Jones at, in that same arena with them, but I knew him, from, but he still remembers the university and he still remembers to give back because like I said, I had a situation that happened and he knew my co-pastor and he said, you know what? I remember Carolyn and let, I'll be glad to help out in this situation because uh, you know, so much goes on in our city from water to trash, you name it. But I love the fact that people still remember to give back. Uh, you, yeah, I, I, you, you, y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta do a show. I mean, you and Lady Winter gotta do the, the Southern Stars uh, mm -hmm. of Fame on the Pick TV Network. All, all, all of the Southern Stars. You guys gotta do your own show because y'all can, y'all can, y'all can handle that. It's, it's, it's beautiful to see you guys so and, and, and talk about great people who are, have not yeah. forgotten. Now today. We want to get into a brand new um, show lineup that we have. We have Michelle Cox from Atlanta, Georgia, Pick TV Network Manager. We have Mel V's Pick TV Network Manager here on the set today from uh, Colorado. And we have the Lady of Wisdom from Mississippi. So we have a brand new channel, and it is uh, the Shopping Spree channel where you can sell your products and services. 
Mel Beast is here today for everybody's out there who want to get your book from your mind, from the pages to the public, to the people. Written Words Publishing helped me to get my first book out to the world. And I don't talk about it a lot, but Mel Beast makes me come to the stage and tell the world that I am a book author today. So I'm honored today to, to be on the stage with these great uh, women uh, who are on our team and to be a book author. You know, I am i don't count it lightly to be on the stage and they are book authors. Now, we also have a special guest up here with us, Michelle, right beside you. Can you point to that special guest right there? Yeah. That's the vice president, y'all. I know I'm in D.C., right? That's the vice president, Kamala Harris. She pops in here every now and then, beams it in, and she's popping in for a minute, and she's right beside the one and only Michelle Cox. Uh, but I want, Mel Beast, can you tell people about written words publishing? And you, you don't have to sit there like I did for 60 years to get my book out, Mel Beast. <laughs> Mel Beast, tell them what you do to offer your assistance to the world. Yeah, so uh, Written Words Publishing, we're a publishing company to assist independent authors in reaching the world with their work. We pride ourselves on producing five-star materials just as great as if it came from a traditional publisher. We offer uh, publishing, editing, ghostwriting. Um, our catalog of books is growing. We have 21 books in our catalog now, and it is growing rapidly. I was so excited. Um, I believe it was last week or maybe two weeks ago, we actually had to purchase 100 ISBN numbers. And if you all don't know what an ISBN number is, that's like the social security number for your book. Every mm -hmm. book, uh, ebook, paperback, hardcover has to have an ISBN number. That's how the book is identified. Mm -hmm. And um, for the past few years, you will purchase them like 10 at a time, 10 at a time. But we're growing so rapidly now. No, 10 was not enough. 100. Yeah. So I'm really excited, really excited about that. Um, so, yeah, if you have a book inside of you and you need assistance in writing it, we have ghost writing service. We can just feed us the details and we'll write the book for you. Your book is already written. It's extremely important that you do not skip the professional editing process. That is one error that um, independent authors make and mm. ask you to maybe try to save money or if they feel like they're short on funds, they'll release their book without having it professionally edited. And you definitely do not want to do that. You need a professional set of eyes on your book to pick up on your grammatical errors, your punctuation errors, your um, inconsistencies, redundancies, make sure the story is flowing properly. So um, we have a um, pay-as-you-go uh, editing package that allows you to work within your budget you know and, and so that way you can get your book produced and published properly without mm -hmm. ever for an affordable easy uh rate and then um also our publishing service and you know we assist you like a uh, lady of wisdom can testify she has her own publishing company but she also used services from written words publishing to help mm -hmm. publish books under her own imprint so mm -hmm. we also do that for you. We also offer if you have books, maybe you have a box of books somewhere, sitting somewhere collecting dust, we can do um, you know, we, we can make your book available for sale on our website. So you know, the services are far and wide and we're just here to assist independent authors so that you can reach the world with your work. So if you go to writtenwordspublishing.com all the information is there on our website. You can um, contact us through the website or you can email us, you can call us and we'll be more than happy to help you reach the world with your book. Amen. And of course, Dr. David Evans' book, This Is Not My Fight by Dr. David Evans. If you go to wittenwordspublishing.com forward slash David dash Evans, or when you get to the website, click the book menu, scroll down, you'll see his cover. You can click the book and you can download his book for free. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Mr. I, I don't really talk a lot about my book. Michelle, come on over a little bit. Get in that screen. Get in that, get in that screen. There you go. You guys are good. You know what to do. Uh, I don't talk about myself a lot. You know, I, I was consider myself to be big like y'all. Y'all are big time book authors. You know, I just have a little book right there that's popping out there that's free. 
I feel so honored just to be on the stage with you, Velvis. You keep pushing me. You book author there. Stop acting like that. You book author. Put yourself out there. <laughs> That's right, and come on, you get the free edition, so when the next book comes out that, you know, you actually have to pay for it, you're going to want to buy it, because you, you will know Dr. Evans and where his heart is, mm -hmm. you want to hear what he has to say. Mel Beats, and I want everybody to answer this question. We were in a big meeting last night with book authors who are coming on the Shopping Spree channel, and this young lady was so excited because this is her first book coming on the mail, and you told her, that it's going to be like a baby. It's just like you having a baby when you first open that book. I don't know that feeling. I need Lady Wisdom. I need mm -hmm. Michelle Cox. I need you, Mel Beach, to talk about when you first had that book in your hand when it comes in the mail. I, I don't. I don't know how to. Do, I don't have no baby, so yeah, I gotta. <laughs> Come on, Mel Beach. <laughs> yes, when you when you receive that box with the printed copies, you open it and you lay eyes on that book for the first time, pick it up and hold it in your hand. It is just like holding a newborn baby. It is a, 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 a feeling that comes from nowhere else but knowing that here's this work that you, you poured into, you created, you put the time, and it, 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 it came to fruition. It's, it's just marvelous. It's awesome. Yeah, Dr. Coleman can tell you, tell them how you felt when you opened the box for those books right there. <laughs> I had to exhale, girl. <laughs> I had to exhale because one, I created this particular cover uh -oh, for the book. And so I wanted to know if what I thought it looked like and what it would look like actually in my hand would be what I desired it to look like. And it definitely did. But what you're saying is, when you have invested your time, your energy, uh, when you have taken the heart of your experiences and put them in a book to try to help others to heal, uh, to move to the next level, to put it in your hand is honorable within itself. But for me to put it in my hands and transfer it to my mom's hand, uh, there are not even words to explain it because much of what I write is out of the experiences of her heart and hands toward me and toward my family and communities at large. And that's why the first book was entitled Mama's Book of Prayer, because it talks about the fact we know how we as Afro-American people actually have made it. We made it through the prayers, sacrifices, and hard works of our parents. And so to contribute back to say, look, you know what? All that you did was so valuable. I put it in a book. I shared my version of it, but I also shared your story too. And ah, that in itself is honorable. And all the praise and all the glory goes to God. But then, Mel B, you know, this is not my first go round. Uh, my first book went through a publishing company. The second book did as an independent because I learned from the process, the do's and the don'ts of writing and the questions to ask that I didn't know how to ask the first time around because of a lack of experience. And as a result of that, God built another career in addition to the publishing company and writing the book. Now I do book audits. I help people. Listen, there are certain things you're gonna have to have in your book. There are certain things you're gonna have to have. If they're not there, it separates you. It pulls you apart. And listen, the self-publisher book should be as prim and pristine as any other book that you cannot tell the difference. And that's what we achieved with our self-published book through Mel B's help, come on, Written Word Publishing and the Lady of Wisdom Publishing Company produced these books. And now I have four or five other uh, people just waiting for me to publish their books. But what did I do? I made a decision to find the male visas, to find their net west. I, I, I mentored and I was a mentee for these women to coach me in how to publish a book. I knew what I knew. I knew what my nephew being a number one best-selling author, what he was saying to me that was missing in works when people self-edit. And the fact that, you know what, you write a book and most people in the life of a book, 
only sell 250 copies. Mm -hmm. So that says to us, there are some things that we need to be taught about bulk sales, about how to look at that book and have a book audit from the beginning. One of the young ladies that I work with, my goodness, she now has a book called Parenthetication on her first debut, 100 copies sold. Because what she was willing to invest, she was willing to take the knowledge and the experience that I've gained and gained and put it to work. Because guess what? When she brought me her book, just for the book audit, I made five suggestions to her and she said, it's not ready, is it? I said, I can't make that decision for you. But these are some things that I see that's missing that I believe because you're such a professional, you want to have. Because when you hit that book on the out there to the market, they will not be able to distinguish whether it was self-published or published by a publishing company. And so we know we can do that. And so I am grateful to you so much, Mel Bees, for your time and being willing to listen to my questions because I ask a lot of questions. Okay, I demand more knowledge. I say to God every day, I don't want to wake up without learning something new today that I can share with someone else. And you have helped me so very much. And I just thank God for you and give you your kudos for what you do with Written Word Publishing and that you allowed me to do what? Three years I've been in a publishing company. This is the first book I published under my publishing company and I did it through you. Now we have two others waiting. Uh, I'm sorry, we have five others waiting <laughs> to be published. So we just give God praise. That number five is grace, baby. And God's grace is sufficient, isn't it? That's what he said. His grace is sufficient for us. So we just give him praise. Wow. Uh, I want to know how did Michelle Cox, did you have the baby feeling when you first get that first book, Michelle? <laughs> Talk about that baby feeling. Talk about it, Michelle. What does that baby feeling feel like? <laughs> This is a sneak peek of the new one. This is the new baby. You haven't seen the new baby yet. That's the new baby. And the one thing about writing books and publishing books, because you know I, I write books for children. I'm my eight-year-old self when I write for children. Mm. I write as my eight-year-old self and I'm questioning the world and questioning the world around me. So when I get the book in, I'm like, I want to show everybody. I call my sister. I call my brothers. I call my cousins. I got a new book, so and so and so. And they're like, okay, you got a new book. When are we going to get it? It's like, it's going to be out soon. But they're like, but you haven't. We can't see it yet. But every time I write a book in and then I see it, it's a whole new amazement that, mm. wow, God has given me this talent to write. Yeah. Wow. Out of having breast cancer, God has said, you know, let me show you a way to heal your trauma in your mind. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons when I get a new book in, it's so joyous for me. Mm -hmm. I am like blessed and I go back to being a kid with a new book. <laughs> and that's wonderful. Right. And it's not only your first book. You get that experience with every single book that you so true. do. Every single one. And myself as a publisher, I get that feeling when I receive my inventory and I open the box and I see my author's books like, wow, look what we did. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I would encourage all the independent authors out there, be sure you have somebody with you when you open that box holding the camera your phone to take a video or take a picture because so it is a priceless moment and on top of that you can use that to post it on social media and uh yeah. create and reels and things of that nature to help promote your book love readers love to see the author with their work whether it's holding it reading it talking about it just yeah don't miss that opportunity all right everybody you know what time it is we got to go pay some bills. We're going to take a small commercial break and we'll be right back with the Pick TV Book Authors Part 2. Stay tuned, Hi everybody. It's Michelle, the computer lady with the Pick TV Network. I'd like you to join me and my guest as we discuss the topic of the importance and power of reading. Every week, I'm going to be bringing a new guest as we dive deep 
into why our kids don't read and ways that we can help them. Stay tuned. This is, when I see this come in, I get so, I, I get so excited when I see our very own Michelle Cox has her own show on the Pick TV network every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Channel 1000 Pick TV network. Michelle, for those who don't know, you can be watching right now after this show on YouTube. And they also, Michelle, they can be on the show. And Talk about some of the high profile people you already had on because I know the I know the university presidents you have on. I watch it every week. Talk about some of these officials and, and, and the blessing is itself, it will cost ten, twenty thousand, maybe fifty thousand dollars for some of these speakers if they wanted to charge you. I know. They could charge a large amount of money to talk on or, on your show or just to show up. So talk about how honored you are. And pivots, because I know you put a lot of work in to do the important reading stuff. What does that mean? Well, Dr. Evans, and I can't stress enough, you know, like I know, that kids need to see us. They need to see our faces. They need to see people like us, because I don't want it to be the exception that our students or our kids see themselves as readers. That's why I had on. Um, the former president of Jackson State University, Dr. Thomas Hudson. That's why I had on Rhonda Weir. That's why I had on Moses West. Gina Gasson, she's the CEO and founder of the Distinguished Authors Guild. And they do a phenomenal job at bringing new authors to light. Then let's not forget, not only Moses West, but I had so many other guests, Dr. Lanisha Adams, Tyra Hunter. This was a lady that was a school bus operator. She, she drove a school bus and the kids saw her reading Harry Potter and school bought her in so she could share her love of reading. And so children that looked like her could see themselves as readers. That's one of the reasons I do this show. Now, the other thing is I had on Kevin McLemore. This gentleman had a fear around reading, a total fear. He would get almost claustrophobic. But guess what? He's overcome that, and he still has challenges. But he's authored two, two books, working on a third one. So, And he's an award-winning author. This makes my heart happy because our kids need to see us, but people and parents also need to see that they can show their children successful authors that look like and represent them in a very positive and informative light. Now, for everybody out there in TV land, and, and Dr. Carolyn and you and Mel Vich, you know you got to come on the show. We want to tell you a story. You could affect a positive change in a child and in their ability to read by sharing your story. Now, all you got to do is contact me. I'm Michelle, the computer lady on YouTube, but here at the <laughs> on the Pick TV network, everybody knows me. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter. I'm everywhere the social media. I'm on Instagram. Hit me up. My digital business card is up on Instagram. Send me a text and let me know about you so people can see Regular folks just like you doing extraordinary things every day on the Pick TV network. Dr. Evans, come on back in here. Back to you. Yeah, I, I love it. You know, I want I'm so happy again when I see uh my team, which is you guys winning. Lady Wisdom winning. Um Mel Beast winning, you know. Um uh, you winning, Patty winning, who has her own show on Pick TV Network. And we have our brand new shopping spree channel on right now on the Pick TV Network. And I want Lady Wisdom, we, we were talking about this last week, about last year, about your daughter helping us to build a shopping spree channel because she does pop up vendors. She's out there helping people. And how big, because QBC uh, is on 24 hours, $1 billion a month. 
And we're not trying to compete with nobody. We want to do our version. Lady of Wisdom, where do you see this? Because you're a lady in the spirit. We could take the shopping spree channel to a place we never, ever thought it could go. Come on, Lady Wisdom. Channel is going to open up some unimaginable doors uh, to pick TV because one, every state, every city, there are independent sellers, whether it's books, jewelry, uh, you name it, whether it's, it's your artwork. And they are looking for an audience. They are looking for people to sell their work to, and there are people looking for what they offer and bring to the table. So now you can have your vendor fair without having to leave home because you can set it up and do it right here on Pick TV. So when you begin to think about it like that, then we can contact, or you all can contact us because it's so interesting. While I'm, I'm, I'm talking, someone said, I want you to do a book audit for me. So we know that people are listening to Pick TV. We know that Pick TV is international. So don't assume because you don't see, and, and I have to say this to people all the time, don't assume because you don't see a lot of large numbers when you go to YouTube to see how many people are watching because a lot of times you're not getting the full picture. It is the impact that you bring to the table and how you can transpose that. Now, let's say that we have five people in Washington, D.C. that's watching right now that are accustomed to doing vendor fairs, that have their goods and they're ready and able to go out, but, but the marketplace is still kind of in a position where people are not necessarily doing as many, many vendor activities as they used to pre-COVID. So now you can take Pick TV, contact us, Lady Wisdom, I need you to get in contact with Dr. Nicole. I want to be on, I want to sell my goods. Give me 30 minutes to promote my products on Pick TV. And guess what? Now the show is off and running. So I want to encourage everybody, if you're listening right now, whether you're an author selling books or if you're an individual selling jewelry or if you're an individual that make wonderful wraps like my daughter in addition to the jewelry or if you are one of those antique people who have materials, you say, it's so unusual, but guess what? I'm selling this item and this is the price and allow people to bid on it. There's a plethora of things that can be done with the Pick TV uh, shopping channel. And you know what? We're waiting on you to come in and say, listen, I want to be a part of this. And as my daughter was saying, what a wonderful idea is to have a particular day, whether it's a Thursday or a Monday or whatever day it might be, and just have back to back to back 24 hours selling books, materials, supplies on Pick TV. You may be an author and you want to come in and talk about your book to sell your book. Or you may be a pop-up shop. I don't know. But guess what? This price that you would pay is no different than what you would pay to be a vendor in an event. So come on, get on it. And then you have an international audience and you can see your business grow. Pick TV, the shopping channel. It is a win-win for everyone. Wow. Thank you, Lady Wisdom. Now, everybody's on this page. I want all of you watching across America and the world. These are investors. Uh, Lady of Wisdom is a Pick TV Network investor with her time, her talent, her treasure, meetings with us, everything. We, they, these people have been rolling with me for almost three years, so our anniversary coming up on this uh, Black Friday. So they're givers. They're not just talking about it. They're on my team. So we have Mississippi represented today, Lady Wisdom. We also have Colorado, Mel, Mel Beast. We have Michelle Cox, who is our business manager and on the executive board as they grow. M Michelle, and um, I wanted to ask Mel Beast, there's people in the nursing homes that can't get out. There's people in prison. There's people who can find. But this shopping channel, they still can order something. We have events coming up this summer, Father's Day. Y'all need to give me a new tie. Uh, y'all need to give me uh, y'all need to give me some socks, you know. Father's Day, so this is shopping spree time. You know, people coming up. We're gonna get them ready to go into the holiday seasons in a couple of months. We got um, Thanksgiving, Christmas. You know, we got a lot of birthdays, anniversary, 
How big can this program and channel be, Michelle Cox? Well, actually, you asked Mel Vies, and I'm going to let her go first. Mel Vies, tell everybody how big this channel can be. We can be just as big as the QVC network, just as big as the Home Shopping Network or bigger. And those two networks have been around for a very, very long time, which is proof that it works. It works. Obviously, people are watching uh, uh, watching TV and purchasing items that they see displayed on television because if it didn't work, they would not still be around. And they have been around for a long, long time. The Tick TV is here. We're going to be around. The Shopping Street Channel is going to be around for a long, long time. And I think the difference that separates us from them is you, the everyday person, can probably not get your product on the QVC network. You, the everyday person, can probably not get your product on the home shopping network. But you, the everyday person, you can get your product right here on the Pit TV network. Okay? All right. Drop the mic right there. <laughs> and that's the difference. Because we all know that with other networks, you have to be in the know and be in the loop. We don't have those requirements. This is your network. It's owned and operated by people like us that see your vision, not just our vision. They, We want to share this network with you. That's why you can showcase your products. And it's not an absorbent fee. So every day, you have an opportunity to be great. Every day you have an opportunity to be on the Pick TV network. And all you got to do is call us 202-505-2837. Come and get your product on the shopping spree channel on the Pick TV network. It's a no brainer. I'm on there. You know why? Because I sell products. I have books. Melvisa's on there, Lady of Wisdom on there. Why? Not only do we work here or we work with Dr. Evans, mm -hmm. we support the channel, but at the same time, we are getting our, our books out, our products out, and we invite you to do the same thing. And guess what? It only takes one simple phone call. That's it. The Shopping Spree Network, 24 hours a day, information, as Dr. Wisdom said, give me 30 minutes. Tell everybody about your book. We're not just local. Our channel's international. And you heard Dr. Evan. I don't know if you saw the last segment. We're going to be in the NFL stadium over there, the Washington Commanders. Imagine being in the suites and people seeing you and your books or you and your products on a national setting. People that have wealth, income. That's your audience. Get hooked in to the Pick TV network. Dr. Evans, come on back in. Yeah, I'm excited, folks. Um, we've been waiting for this. The team has been working diligently. Um, and I'm so proud of Michelle Cox gonna take all these awards. We got she has a show up there, Lady Wisdom. Michelle Cox is trying to catch you. You know, you had the number one show last year. You had the biggest award last year. This is the Lady of Wisdom Award for her show, the Mothers and Daughters Show. Let me turn it around. Now, Michelle Cox is trying to take your awards to Lady Wisdom. She's trying she try to see, she got about four awards already for her show. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so we're we excited about, you know, us having a lot of fun on the network, the team, the show, the program. And uh, I can't wait until we hear from you guys. And this this channel is gonna grow. Our shows are gonna grow. We're doing something for the kids next month, the 17th, 18th, and 19th, and 20th. All of you who are watching me right now, we're gonna do something to have a special teaching training segment, uh, sessions for our kids for four days, for one hour. Your kids are invited. Call us on 202-505-2837. Lady of Wisdom, why is it important for us to give back to the kids? This is our first time doing this. It's a virtual uh, training session, one hour, 11 to 12, on the 17th of July, 11 to 12, 18th and 19th and 20th. 
why is it important for us to give back to the kids? And we know my heart still breaks because of what happened in Texas. Mm -hmm. My heart breaks when you told me about the young lady who told her teacher that she was going to commit commit suicide. Nobody believed her. Mm -hmm. And she went out and she hung herself. My heart still hurts, Lady Wisdom, when I hear about kids shooting teachers right in Virginia. And this week, on this week, they had a graduation and a 19-year-old shot a person, another student, in the graduation. Lady Wisdom, why is it important for us to give back to the kids from mm -hmm. me to you to the Pick TV Network? Oh, so many reasons. You know, our children desperately need good activities in the summertime. And as, uh, number two, we realize that our children lose half of what they've learned through the school year if they're not actively engaged in the summer in some type of educational programs. All right. Number three, our children need to know how to think money how to think ownership. And so what you're doing by allowing them to come in for that one hour, study production, television production, it opens up their mm, a plethora of ideas that they can use from film production to television production to writing and producing. It opens up an avenue, one, to expand their level of thinking, but to allow them the privilege of understanding you need to think ownership and not just working for another human being, but it needs to be established very young. So I applaud you on what you're doing because when God has blessed us, we are obligated, not out of necessity, but out of love to give back to the communities, specifically to our children, so that they will know one, that they have a voice, two, that they are valuable, and three, they are the next generation. And so we need a prepared people to help us move on because they're gonna have to take care of us after a while. Uh, you know, Lady Wisdom, I, I, I love you so much because you're doing that for mama down there. You have grandkids and um, you know, um, there's so much that our kids look up to us today. They living in a world we never, we could never think of, mm -hmm. um, Michelle. Um, and, and, and the importance of uh, reading is so important for our kids. Mel Beast is important for helping us to know that we did our part this summer, next month, for the first time in the history of Pick TV Network. We're going to do a virtual training session for our kids, 10 years old up into 18. And um, I'm excited. Uh, to have you guys to help me to do, do this uh, sessions and everybody was here today. You are important. Well, our time is up. We're going to enjoy some more of this day, Lady Wisdom. I want you to accept, cook mama for me. Give mama a great big hug. Tell her I love her. You know, don't forget everybody, check out the Shopping Spree channel on Pick TV Network. If you want to be on, all you have to do is call right now, 202-505-2837. Thank you for my managers here. Hey, we just had the best vice president pop up. Lady Wisdom, pull your finger. That's the vice. She keep popping up again. There she go. The vice president folks pops up in the big TV network room. You know I'm from Washington, D.C. We thank you for your special guest, everybody. And we'll see you next time on the network. Please be safe. Please take care of everybody and tell somebody you love them. And um, keep smiling until we come back again. They say your eyes are the windows to the soul. They're also the windows to your health because they let eye doctors see what's going on inside. Think about this. A comprehensive eye exam can be an early detector of serious health problems like high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Shouldn't you see your eye doctor yearly? Go to thinkaboutyoureyes.com to learn more and for a list of local eye doctors. It could help save more than your vision. Hey, what's up, y'all? Said the entertainer. I want y'all to check out Pick TV Network. That's right, Pick TV Network. They got 60 free channels on Roku. 
This is dope. They also started the brand new Coaching World channel at $9.89. So, if you are a content provider, you are a young business with an opportunity to build uh, something, a platform where you can have your own show, do some programming, check out Pick TV Network on Roku. They got over 60 free channels for you to check out and also grow a business. Go and see them now. See the content. See what they have to do. Learn something. Check them out. All right? Big TV Network. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh.